Hello everyone, welcome again to another series of video from Electronics Eternity. Uh, this time around we'll be looking at uh, LCD uh, TFT display, uh, which is a second part using library. As you know, I, I had a series before without using library and this is the one with library. So particularly today we will be looking at uh, on identifying uh, X and Y coordinates in your LCD display, right? So uh, basically this uh, X and Y coordinate is important to detect a touch point because for example, if you'd like to uh, create an user interface where when you touch a particular point in, in your LCD display which acts like a switch or any particular trigger, it then lights up an LED or, or turns on a motor or just about anything or sends a particular signal. Uh, you, you can do that, but before that you need to understand how your uh, LCD display works in terms of its reading of X and Y uh, axis and coordinates. Alright, so uh, with that being said, let's move to the code to understand how it works. Uh, as usual, I'm using the three library, Adafruit GFX, TFC, LCD and test screen right and uh, that's the default library that I need for uh, you know this particular project uh, next is defining the usual uh, pins related to LCD which is chip select command and data pin write read and reset next is I'm just defining some basic colors uh, next is uh, I'm defining some pins for my LCD display right so yp is a1 xm is a2 ym is 7 xp is 7 right so it's it's very important that you identify these pins correctly uh, these pins work in pair for example yp and ym xm and xp right so one point will be the highest voltage which is often 5 volt and one point will be the ground right for an example uh, YP could be 5 voltage and YM could be 0 right so it's important that you identify the correct pins and define them accordingly over here uh, without that this code is not going to work or pretty much to say without the right pins being defined here no code is going to work right so these pins need to be defined correctly and for my particular LCD this is the pin arrangement so it you might have something different so just be sure to check that out okay so next is to calibrate uh, touch screen value sensitivity minimum pressure maximum pressure so this is basically to set the minimum pressure as 10 and maximum pressure as 1000 sensitivity is 300 you can always play with these values depends on how sensitive your LCD display is right so just be sure to change these values and then conduct some experiment on it see how uh, sensitive your LCD display is right towards a touch okay so next is just uh, you know uh, you're just declaring an LCD display named FTFT with this pins and we're gonna start we're gonna declare a touch screen as well as TS right so this is the XP YP uh, XM YM sensitivity which we have discussed earlier okay so moving on to the white setup so over here we can see serial begin TFT reset beginning 9341 and then I think it should be a space over here okay just just to separate right so now we are setting uh, set rotation to 3 this is what works for my display it might be different than yours as usual and then we are setting Kelsey over here we're setting text size to white and we're printing point X so basically what will happen is right next to point X we're gonna have point X value right and uh, over here we have right below it which is which is this is 80 this is 110 so right below it we're gonna have point Y okay this is the setup I don't want this to change I want this to remain the same all throughout the testing all right so next going on to loop so I'm gonna have I'm gonna declare my you know TS point as P all right so which is the touch point so P is is going to get TS get point equals to P and then I'm gonna have this to set to output all right so 
Uh, I'm not sure what's the logic behind it. I don't have the exact schematic for my LCD display. What I did was I, I just played around with my XM, YP, just, I just played around with all the pins to see which one gives me the uh, desired output, right? So it's, it's always such that one of X and Y pins are going to be set to output so that we can, you know, get some values out of it, okay? Uh, next is set text size to 3 and then we're gonna set cursor which is the coordinate over here just now it's actually there's the same y position but it's just that it's further to the right which is 190 and it will then display the value of p dot x which is what we get over here all right p equal to ts get point and p dot x will give you the uh, x coordinate of a touch point named p it's that simple okay so and the same for y we're gonna put p dot y right and we're gonna erase that part once we're done displaying the values uh, just right after it so that you know we can display the next value that comes after it uh, that comes after or when we touch a different point in the screen okay so let me try this I'm gonna try to put this underneath to see what happens okay so now I'm gonna upload this code and let's see what happens in our LCD display okay yeah so the changes are pretty much more decent okay so I'm gonna try moving my pen as you can see I'm gonna try to move to the right without moving up or down as much as possible right so I'm gonna move to the right and as you can see see you see when I move to the right my y value changes right can you see my x value remain pretty much the same however my y value changes okay so what this means is my y value is actually on the horizontal axis it could be different for you because you might not have your screen rotation you might not have set rotation to three you might have set it to zero okay uh, but this is how it looks for me it might be different for you as well which is why it's always good to experiment and understand how your LCD displays right so now let's move upwards so you can see when we move upwards our X values changes right I'm trying to move only up and down without moving left and right as much as possible even though my hand is gliding a bit okay so you you can see that X value uh, changes as I go up and down right why Y value pretty much you know maintains its value even though there's a slight changes because my hands are not stable okay so you you now understand that you know this is how your LCD behaves for example when you move to the right your Y value changes when you move up and down your X value changes it will be different for your LCD display or it could be just the same but most importantly you need to have this as an understanding so that you can program or, or create a, a user interface accordingly you could trigger a particular reaction accordingly from a touch point right so with that being said, I, I hope you uh, get the idea on, on why this tutorial is important. I hope you have learned something new. As usual, if you have any comments or questions, uh, feel free to drop it down below. Uh, with that, I would like to end the video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.